Today I'm going to be talking about some significant upgrades to one of the most revolutionary ways to transport gear that has ever been created. If you aspire to build the ultimate inch bag, that's an I'm never coming home, I'm bugging out into the wilderness for an extended period of time bag, this is far and away the most well thought out, durable, capable, and military spec hiking trailer available on the market today. So let's check it out. Hi folks, Canadian Prepper here. So today I'm out on Grey Owls Trail. It's a 40 kilometer hike in northern Saskatchewan and I got the new and improved Monowalker Fatmate. Now the original Monowalker that I shared with you guys was a prototype. So it was pretty much the same general platform minus all the enhancements that this one has. Now right now I'm hauling about 120 pounds of gear and about 20 pounds of that is the monowalker itself. With this new design, as you can see those saddle bags back there, those are, uh, that's called the low rider and it goes over the wheel. So all of the weight of those bags is on the wheel when you're at rest and when you're not on an incline. If you're walking on a straight or if you're going on a decline, basically you're not pulling that weight. It's all on the tire. So right now, about 70% of the weight, because I have a lot of weight over that tire, is on the monowalker itself and about 30% is on me. I equate this to walking around with like a 25 pound backpack. And I pretty much don't have to break with this thing. I can walk for miles and miles without ever having to take a break with 110 pounds. You cannot do that with an expedition pack. You're gonna be taking a break. Even on a flat trail, you're probably gonna sit and catch your breath at least every kilometer, depending on the kind of condition you're in, but eventually you're gonna definitely need a break. Uh, most people are going to need a break, especially after a couple kilometers, unless you're a Sherpa or something like that. Now, if you're going uphill, obviously you lose a bit of that advantage. It's probably gonna be about 80% of the weight on you and 20% of the weight. But because you have this convenient disc brake system, if you are going uphill and you ever need a breather, you just activate the disc brake and you can just kind of chill for a bit, catch your breath, and most of that weight then gets taken off your waist and goes to the back tire once again onto the brake. So, uh, really excellent design, excellent hiking trailer, really good for relatively flat terrain with elevation shifts that aren't over 50 meters. Now this trail I'm on, it's along the lake and uh, you know, it's a zero sum game. So, you know, whatever elevation I gain, I lose. So if I'm going uphill, uh, I'm inevitably gonna be going downhill. So it kind of makes up for that and it all balances out. This is the absolute best way to transport gear on flat ground. Even on ground with minor elevation changes, with uh, inclines that aren't excessively steep. I took this thing through the mountains. Uh, there was a few parts where it was incredibly steep. I don't know, probably like a 45 degree grade or something like that, where, you know, this is something you're, you're gonna have to use very carefully. It still can be done, but I wouldn't be practical for ongoing use. But anything, you know, that you're gonna encounter on the average trail, this is gonna be able to handle it. Uh, any trail that you can take a bike on, you can take this mono walker on. I would also say that uh, there's a lot of trails that you can't take bikes on that you can still take this on. It does convert to a backpack, so, <laughs> but realistically, you're carrying as much gear as I'm carrying in it right now in order to backpack stuff it would take you a couple trips but theoretically it can be done is it very practical to do so it's going to take you probably even when you're proficient at it maybe a half an hour to put it all to get, to take it all apart and pack everything up and then another half an hour to unpack it so if you have that kind of time and then of course that's weather permitting so if the weather isn't that good and you know you're out there trying to pack this thing up well that's not going to be a good situation the actual stuff that you put in the big bag here which is now i believe it's a hundred and seventy liter bag 
So it's probably twice the size of the one of the largest hiking packs, expedition packs that you can imagine. So there's a lot of space to put a lot of stuff. And right now I have this thing loaded up heavy and I'm sitting here talking to you and I have the disc brake activated. So that means I don't have to, you know, I can actually lean into it a bit if I wanted to. I have my coffee here and uh, this excellent little coffee holster. Of course, you're gonna need a cup that seals shut, sticks right in there. I have another one of those on this side that has my bear spray. If you wanted to, you could probably customize these a bit further. You know, you could have different things on there. You could mount a GPS on here or uh, a light or something like that. I, I haven't used this at night. I don't think I would unless I was, you know, really doing a long distance hike across terrain, which was less hazardous. The monowalker is just great, man. It's once you get used to it, it's fantastic. Now there is a harness that I can throw on. And this is going to put some of that weight oops, onto my shoulders. And I like doing this, try not to interfere with the microphone. And I like uh, changing this up once in a while. So if your waist is getting, or your hips are getting a little sore, you can put that weight onto your shoulders and then you kind of just switch back and forth. So you never really get tired. It's kind of like, jogging at a very steady pace. You never have to take it off. Um, now it's it's one of those things you have to get the hang of. As you can see here, it's, it's a tripod system. So the back wheel, unless your monowalker bag is nicely well balanced and the weight is bilaterally distributed equally. So it's bilaterally symmetric how you're packing your stuff. It's going to be a little off balance and lopsided but once you find that fulcrum or that balance point and uh, you get it nicely packed it doesn't really do that too much and you might have to exert a little bit of energy just to keep it stable while you're standing up stationary but not that much so pretty cool in that regard everything else has had really great enhancements this is made in germany the bags are high frequency welded waterproof bags. This is made of anodized aerospace grade aluminum. Everything is just built rock solid. This thing is built to basically military standards. Uh, Kai Fuchs, the guy who made these, has actually made a couple for the German military. They're experimenting with them right now. So it's gonna be interesting to see what comes of that, but it's a fantastic unit. It's a very expensive unit though. <laughs> if you don't want the bag, and you don't want the uh, lowrider saddlebags there. It's going to run you about a thousand bucks. With the extra accessories, it's you know going to be a lot more than that. Then of course you have the cost of shipping on top of that. So this is for dedicated expeditionists and people who do a lot of hiking, but maybe have some kind of disability, which you know limits their ability to carry a lot of weight. This will allow you to do that. So uh, I think it's a, a good investment if you're gonna be using it a few times every year, it's gonna pay itself off in terms of the grief, especially if you have a family, you can get a child carrier for it, you can carry a child on it. There's lots of safety features, there's quick disengagement from the unit by just pulling these two loops right here. So if I seen a grizzly bear and he came at me, I just pull these two loops that would immediately drop this whole unit to the ground. I just want to show you how you would take the unit off. It's a bit tricky to start. So basically just like that, the disc brake is activated. So I would put the unit down. Then if I wanted to put the unit back on, I just step down, lean back into it, put some pressure on that waist strap, buckle it up, tighten it, and I'm good to go. So it's that easy. There's too much detail for me to go into right now with respect to how the harness system works. It's magnetic loops and all this kind of stuff. So I'm gonna go into that in greater detail, perhaps in uh, inside portion of this video or another video. 
But uh, yeah, excellent unit, Monowalker Fat Mate upgraded. If you want one, go check out monowalker.com. Thanks for watching, Canadian Prepper out.